Okay, good morning guys. Today is Saturday and I'm joined with Jenny. <laughs> Jenny stayed over last night because if you guys watched my weekly vlog, which you should do, even though it's very long. Um, <laughs> it's worth it though. It's worth it. Uh, basically, we went to a party last night and Jenny stayed at mine afterwards, uh, mainly because Jenny like lives in the next like village along, so <laughs> nobody was going to want to give you a little home last night. Like, drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to take Jenny home like after we've just got up and ready. Um, and I don't really know what I am doing today, but I thought I might turn this into like a two day vlog and upload it like tomorrow evening um, Because I think what I'm doing tomorrow daytime should be quite good, but you're gonna have to watch and see um, But yeah, we'll just see what happens see what like goes on, you know, so Jenny's here for now and that's what's happening. Okay, I'm dressed. I don't have any makeup on, but I'm now taking Jenny back home. It's, it's cold. so cold in here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drive Jenny back home. Hopefully have a bit more luck than when I picked her up because I look at the state. So yeah, I'm gonna go but Thanks for being in the vlog. It's all right, gal. Let me what are we doing? <laughs> okay, I would say I look a little bit more put together, but I actually look so tired and ill and gross. Ooh. Um, but I'm just going to meet Tom for his lunch now, and then I'm going to come back and actually have a nap because I'm just like, just feeling a bit rough, you know? Um, so, going down for my afternoon nap. Sorry if you can hear the, I was going to call it a roundabout washing machine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to meet Tom for his lunch, only for half an hour. I'm going to come back and have to go to the sleep, just because, like, you can see that I've just look... I didn't really sleep very well, obviously, because Jenny slept over, and um, basically, I just don't really sleep that well when there's somebody else there, which is fine, like, I don't mind that, but now I just feel really, like, ugh. So, yeah, anyway, going out for lunch. Hope to see anybody that I know, because I look disgusting, but the whole of Beverly will be filled with people from school. This is actually so funny. I'm sat with like a blanket wrapped around me. I met Tom for lunch, didn't film any of it because he only gets like 20 minutes for lunch. So I go into town to meet him and we get like half an hour, not even that. So it's always such a rush. Um, but basically I've been doing nothing because as I said, I was like really tired. I've decided not to have a nap because I know that it always just makes me feel worse. But basically tonight, um, my family are like going around to Tom's house to like, this is really weird, but like celebrate Chinese New Year, even though it's for three weeks, but none of us are free over the next three weekends. So we're doing it tonight um, to get like Chinese and just like have a nice night in and stuff. Um, so I've decided to like power through. So I thought I'm just gonna edit a video now for a bit and then I am probably gonna work on my portfolio and then I'm gonna do my makeup, get ready to go out. I mean, it's just like casual, but I still wanna like do my makeup, look nice and yeah, just got like odd bits and bobs to do. So today's a bit of a weird one. I'm gonna film tomorrow as well though because I feel like tomorrow might be quite fun or should be quite fun um, because I'm doing like a mock-up magazine shoot with like one of my friends and it's just gonna be good. Well, I say one of my friends, it's actually, you guys know Izzy, but like Izzy's sister's friend that is at university. So like, yeah, it's gonna be a good day though. I'm excited. And if you're wondering what this is, this is my snuggly blanket from, I think this is from Donnell Mill. Is this from Donnell? Okay, it's been a while. I'm now about to get ready to go to Tom's. Um, I think we're leaving in about 35 minutes. So I'm just gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna just leave my hair like this, I think. Still not feeling 100%, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I kind of think it's just cause I didn't really sleep last night. I'm so tired right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure how much fun I'm gonna be tonight, but I'm gonna get ready anyway and just, like, see what happens. I'm really cold. I'm, like, scared I'm coming down with something. Touch wood, I'm not, because I never really get colds or anything. Um, but I think I'm just tired, so, yeah, I just need to, like, power through. We're gonna get a takeaway, so that will be good. I think we're gonna get, like, pizza, though, me and Tom, because we don't really like Chinese. You guys probably aware by now the fact that our eating habits are very boring um so yeah that is the plan i'm gonna just like do my eyeshadow try to make myself feel a bit more alive and see what i can Okay guys, so I am now ready. I've actually got my hair in like this little thing, which I have not done in ages, but I actually do really like it. Sorry if you can see my room and it's an actual mess. But the outfit that I have gone for is this. It's just like really casual. These are my jeans from Pretty Little Thing. I've had these for about nearly a year now. Really, really like these. I've got fluffy socks on, just ignore that. Literally wear fluffy socks all the time. Um, and then I've got this blousy shirt top thing on that is like green, but it looks kind of black. Um, and this is from, where's this from? Primark. And then my makeup, I have 
I don't think this is the best lighting to show you, but um, the Zoeva offline palette is the like purpley shade, and then the blue is also the Zoeva offline palette, and then the glitter is the Stila Sea Siren liquid eyeshadow. So I will link all of the things I can below. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out now, get a takeaway. I feel a lot more alive now that I look a bit more alive. So let's go. So we've come to get a takeaway. Um, Tom has just run into the Chinese to pick it up and we're kind of like parked on the side of the road. Um, and basically, like all the parents and everybody else are getting Chinese, but I don't really like Chinese and neither does Harry. So Tom has kindly agreed to also get a pizza with us. So that means in a minute. Like I don't mind Chinese. Like some things I would eat, but I'm just not feeling the vibes for um, like a Chinese. I'm just feeling the vibes for a pizza, even though I did eat that yesterday. So like, don't kill me having pizza two nights in a row, but whatever. Why the car behind just sat with their lights on they got out didn't see anyone gonna go into town after this to pick up the pizza because there's like no pizza delivery places near us is there no harry's in the back of my car by the way my car that's very misted up at the back look at that we have got the pizza harry is also with us by the way um he also has pizza tom has pizza we're sharing these chips we've also got some prawn crackers from the chinese and there's meg guys look at the size of this pizza slice that's actually been cut by the people that's so small it's so funny so look, there's my hand. <laughs> Good morning guys, today is now Sunday and I'm basically taking Tom back home. We didn't go back, um, we didn't go home last night until, what time is it, like half past two? Yeah. 20 to three two. I think we got in. I am like, I'm not tired yet because it hasn't hit me yet. I'm tired. But I had to be out this morning at 11 and I had to film a video before that so I knew that I was gonna be actually dead. I'm meant to be being picked up from my house right now but I'm dropping, um, I'm dropping Tom off so I'm really scared but the girl I'm about to get picked up by is going to get to my house and I'm not going to be there because um, she hasn't replied to my message so yeah but we've just won a video haven't we? We have, it was really good. Yeah, going up on Tuesday. Good. Going up on Tuesday. Wait this will be up, yeah it's going up tonight so yeah. Um, but yeah right now taking Tom home. I don't think you do this, give me a hammock. Yeah I've got real strong arms, that's why I've got big muscles. You don't have big muscles. I don't have any muscles. Um, but yeah that's, that's basically what's in Karen so. Okay guys, so I'm now back home. There's been a little bit of a time jump and it started snowing. It's actually kind of stopping now, but it just started snowing really heavily. But I just went out with Izzy and her sister's friend, Steph, which sounds really odd, but she's at university studying journalism, I think. I could be wrong. Steph, if you're watching this and it's not that, I'm sorry. Um, but basically she had to do like, well, she interviewed me last year, kind of just talking about YouTube and stuff. And then she wanted to do like a follow-up. I look so bedraggled. Oh, um, yeah, like a follow-up chat and also take some pictures so we just went to Costa did a little like interview thing which I didn't film and then we went out onto like some streets kind of near the Westwood which if you know Beverly like the Westwood is like basically a big open field and the streets near there are freezing so bear in mind that it's like really cold anyway because it's snowing but then also we're like on an open plain like that kind of area like I mean we were on the streets but anyway yeah it was like really fun so I'm gonna insert some of the pictures on the screen if Steph has sent me them because though it was like quite fun to do like a shoot that wasn't for my but I wasn't really stressing about like if I thought they'd be nice or whatever because like Steph wanted them and I thought it's just quite cool to just like walk around and be like so that was quite fun. So now I need to basically spend the day editing. I've got three videos to edit. I've already filmed a video this morning. It's only one o'clock and I got in last night at 3 a.m. So I would say, considering that, having quite a productive day, it's gonna be one of those days where I'm like in the house, which has been most of my weekend to be fair, um, just because I have quite a lot to get done. My mum's kindly making me some lunch right now. So I'm gonna have like cheese and tomato on toast, I think, and then have a productive afternoon. I think I'm gonna show you my finished photography coursework because I'm like fully fully done with that now the only thing I have left to go in that book is my exam piece so obviously I haven't done that so yeah I'm gonna show you that because a lot of you guys were like please film it when you finished it um oh my lunch is ready thank you very much for making that look at my lunch you guys yay Guys, look at this. It's actually fully starting to like set. I don't know if you can see it. Set, do you call it set? I never know if you say, <laughs> that's close. I never know if you say set or like settling or like laying, like, I don't really know what you call it, but yeah, the snow is settling. My fairy lights look very yellow right now, um, but I'm currently about to take the paperwork that I have on my bed downstairs to like file in my media studies folder. Um, I'm also just gonna take some product pictures of the Barry M launch because um, I want to 
post them to Instagram because they're gorgeous products. Um, and then I also have three videos to edit, so I'm just gonna finish my photography off. Although my teacher has just emailed me a link to another artist she wants me to slot in, and I'm like, I can't, I can't do much more. Like my book is very full, and I don't have very much time because coursework deadline is the you know, a week on Wednesday but that's including our exam piece, so yeah. We have our mock on Thursday, so I'm not really nervous or anything, because it's just a photography mock, it's basically just like producing a final piece. So that is the plan for now. It's snowing very heavily and has been for like two and a half hours. I'm concerned because Tom has to drive like on the motorway to drop his friend back off home and it's scary weather. Harry's made a snowman. <laughs> Harry, I don't think there's quite enough snow. Not quite. Nearly. It looks good though, doesn't it guys? Look at this. Oh my God, it's so cold in this conservatory. I am going. All right, bye. I'm watching Harry from the warm inside. Clean our windows with some snow. And do that. Yep, he's gonna do it again. Yep. Yep. Okay, you guys, it is still snowing. I'm not in my pajamas. I've just put my hoodie over my jumper because it's cold and snowing and it's actually snowing quite heavy. Um, but I thought before I go, I'm gonna show you my finished photography coursework minus my exam piece. So I have talked through the beginning bit in another vlog, so I'm gonna link that vlog below. I'm just gonna go over it quite briefly. I don't know like how good the lighting is in here. If I put the big light on, it makes everything look yellow though. So, okay, basically, if you haven't seen my other video, my theme was light. So my first photographer and kind of the running theme the whole way through was Brandon Walfel. I'm just gonna kind of go over this. So photo shoot number one was in London with Liv. I'm sorry if you can hear like quite a lot of rustling, um, but yeah, um, this is photo shoot number one, the most successful ones. And then this was photo shoot number two. Uh, these were just like fairy lights. So again, Brandon Walfel inspired. These were to like overlay. Um, so then I did that, I overlaid them. If you want a bit more of an in-depth talk through, I'll link the other vlog. Then I looked at Filippo Minnelli, I think that's how you say it, who worked with flare photography. Um, I then took my friend Emma and my friend Sam to Freysthorpe Beach, it was freezing cold, and we stood and um, made paint explosions. Basically, we just made a big mess, and that's how these pictures turned out. This was when I didn't really know where my theme was, like, heading. Then I went back to Brandon Walfel, took some images with neon lights. These were the basis for the rest of the book, so these were my thumbnail images. Basically, all my annotations are just, like, what worked, what didn't, the camera settings I used, and stuff. Then these are the most successful images from that shoe, and then the annotations across here are for each like image and then again a couple more here then i redeveloped that shoot by going back to the same place using a different model and using a cd which i actually think worked really well which is what is causing the reflection um so you guys have seen these if you haven't seen them you're going to see these pictures a lot throughout the book but yeah these are the most successful ones then i looked at stephanie jung and she did like layering images and quite intense like city life like busy pictures uh I then went with my friend Izzy and also with Tom to Hull Fair. We did photography in the mirror maze. Um, so these were like my most successful images from the mirror, like house of mirrors kind of thing. Annotations are just like waffle basically. Then I edited them in the style of Stephanie Jung. I'm not a huge fan of these, but my teachers like them. Um, so these are like my edits pages, my Photoshop screenshots, that kind of thing. Then I redeveloped these using Jamie Swarbrick, who's actually a videographer. So these are screenshots from some of his YouTube videos, um, which is what I've written about here. Then I did that with my images, so my pictures of Izzy, layering them like Izzy on Izzy. Really didn't like this shoot, this picture has cut out so badly, so this page is just awful. Um, then I moved on to look at Pablo Picasso and his line drawings, because this was similar to um, the fairy light images I'd done. I then just did some continuous line drawings just because I wanted to include some art, because yeah, I had a spare page, so I thought I'd do some line drawings. And I did a, I can't even remember what photo shoot number on now, I think it's like 10. No, it's not 10, it's definitely not 10. 10 is the total, I think this is like six. So these were my sparkler images. These are the most successful. Basically, how you get these is so simple. You just have your camera on a really long shutter speed. Um, and yeah, you can capture the light making trails. Then I layered them up with my original images of Jenny, had them like framing her eyes. Again, not huge fans of these, but there we go. <laughs> Um, then I looked at Hannah Guy, I actually need to write a little bit more here, um, and she did acetate images, so like layering the acetate, which is what I have here, I've got all of my pictures of Jenny printed onto acetate, so I've got the original ones and the acetate ones, and then underneath I've just got some writing, so that page is really heavy. 
Then on here, I've got the like thumbnail pictures of Jenny's acetate, like layered pictures. Um, then this was the most successful one. And these are some other successful ones. So these are all layered on a light box. So yeah, I have spoke about these before. So I don't, can't remember how up to date this would be. So I'll just talk a bit more in depth from here. So I printed the same pictures on tracing paper. That's what's in this plastic wallet. Um, but I also experimented with oil. Um, and that's why they have to go in a plastic wallet. Because the oil is like really oily, funnily enough. Um, and then these are my thumbnail images of them on tracing paper. I don't think it worked as well because the colours weren't as bright, but still put them in, experimented with different media. Then I printed my uh, sparkler images on acetate. So this is like, basically acetate is like see-through. I would say paper, but it's not paper, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's just more, like that's a tracing paper image, just another one of the same basically. Um, then I printed the last couple of ones on well I did the acetate image layered over the top of the other acetate image then did these basically layering all my photo shoots up together I really like that one actually bottom left then that's one of the ones that turned out the best but I'm still not a huge fan of it but the light on her face I do really like um then what I did was I printed the shoot with the sparkler on different coloured cards so this is on red that didn't really work at all that's on green that looked gross i think the yellow and the blue worked quite successfully so these are actually my pictures of harry i was kind of just experimented with like cool and warm tone images here so i printed them on different card um and this was all just like experimenting with what worked best with my photo shoots to kind of like see where i could head for my final piece so this was it printed on blue that was it printed on red to just look at the contrast and then we actually went on our school trip to cleveland this is some of my favorite work so so this is the stuff we did in the dark room so um this is all film photography here's the film here's the like test strip and what i did was try to mimic brandon warfel's style and also my original images by um, bringing some fairy lights it proved very difficult to take pictures of fairy lights in a dark room with a film camera because the exposure and everything was very hard to get right so shout out to my friend sam who basically did this for me <laughs> um but yeah and then these were two of my most successful ones from the dark room i love this one this is my friend gabby who i can't thank enough for wearing that much highlighter on that day because it really comes out in this picture that looked peng and then this is also gabby and this this one i like moved the camera to see what happened i actually think this looks terrifying because because i moved the camera her hand and like her face are all, all kind of like distorted so yeah that is kind of like where i'm up to and then these two pages will be my exam prep but apart from that this is the book finished as you can see i've kind of like developed my ideas from the beginning all the way up to here and um, building on what i've already done so we shall see what grade this gets but a lot of you seemed quite interested in like seeing what i'd done so there you go but yeah i'm actually gonna end the vlog here even though it is only midday on sunday i actually want this to go up tonight so i wanted to include that talk through at the end of the vlog because i have to give this book in this week and won't get it back so i just thought if you want to watch more in depth i have done it in another video but i thought i'd include it now too so i'm gonna go i'm gonna edit this and have a cup of tea and i will see you all on tuesday with a video i filmed this morning with tom that turned out to be so funny so definitely tune in on tuesday if you haven't thank you very much for watching and i'll see you very very soon bye